Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at papapodcasts at gmail.com. Other Papa Podcast titles include Chemistry Podcasts, Math Podcasts, which look at quadratic functions, polynomials, trigonometry, linear mathematics, and physics podcasts. Thank you for watching. Slope. The slope is the rate of change. It's the steepness of a line. So if we have a line that goes as follows, and then we have a second line that goes as follows, the slope here is a lot steeper than the slope here. Another thing that we're going to look at in terms of slope is that it's also known as the rise over run. And what does that mean? Well, the slope is equal to rise divided by run. And we're going to talk about rise and run, what these terms mean um, in just a second. It is represented by the letter M in front of the following equation and is the value in front of X. So whenever we have the equation, we said this was the slope intercept form that we want. This value here of M is our slope. And our slope is the M value that is found in front of X. So whenever our equation is in this form, y is equal to mx plus b, whatever is the m, whatever is the number in front of x, is going to be our slope. It's going to be our rise over run. Slope, as we said, is equal to rise over run. Slopes of lines will be drawn in one of these four ways. Slopes can be positive, and, and we think about in the English language when we read, we read from left to right. And when we are looking at something like as follows, we are moving from left to right. So our first point would be here, and then our last point would be up here. So we're going from left to right. So we have a positive slope when our line goes as follows. When a slope goes in a downward, position again when we are moving from left to right we have a negative slope if we have a straight horizontal line our slope is equal to zero and if we have a, a line that goes vertically up and down this is what we call an undefined slope explaining the slope equation slope as we said is equal to rise over run but what does that mean? And now we're, we're going to get into a little bit of technicalities of math. And it's really important that you do follow along just a bit because this is going to help you um, try to identify what the slope is when you don't have a graph. Now, what we have here, we have a, what we call delta. This is delta, Greek letter here, or Greek symbol. Um, and, well, it's a symbol to us. It's a Greek letter. Uh, and so it's delta, and that delta here is a symbol, means a change in. So how do we read that? So we, we can say that at delta y over delta x, or we could say the change in y and the change in x. And how do we do that? Right here, this shows us the change in y and the change in x. So what we have is we have a change in y and a change in x, which means if we have a straight line and we draw, let's say, our two points that we need, one of these points is, as we said, x and y. The other point is also x and y. But if we use the same letters, if we use the same letters, they, it means that whatever the value of this x is, is going to be the value of this x. So what we do is we use these little subscript numbers, which means that we have the second y value and the first y value. We have the second x value, we have the first x value. 
And so when we, when we rewrite this, we have really, this is our x1 and our y1 point. This is our second point. And because as we said, when we read in English, we go from left to right. So now, what does that mean? Well, we have here a graph. Our grid here. We have our Cartesian plane. This is x and y. So what we have here in, a, in our straight line is, well, we have this change in our y value. So if we go from this point to our next point, our y value here changes from this y value to whatever this y value is. And then we move here along this x value. Well, we're going from this x value here to this x value there. So in other words, we are moving in that direction. And this rep is represented by our delta y, our change in y, or y goes from here up to here. And then our x, our change in x, goes from here all the way to there. Now, if you don't understand the technicalities of this, don't worry. There's going to be another podcast um, on identifying and, ex and pretty much breaking down the, this formula um, with actual practice problems. So today's lesson, we're going to focus more on actually um, identifying from our graphs or identifying from our equation when it's written in the simplest of forms. Explaining slope. So, explaining slope. As we said in the previous slide, slope here at the bottom rise is equal to rise over run. It's represented by our delta y over delta x, which means our change in y over our change in x. And what does that mean? Well, if we have here, we pick any two random points. Whenever we're picking the points, make sure you pick points that lie exactly at the grid marks, right in the corner of the grid marks. So notice here, the grid marks at this point here, no, that doesn't, that doesn't work because we get uh, uh, fractions or decimals. Here, that point doesn't work because we get fractions, decimals. We're looking at right here. If we look along the line, we have another one right there. If we look along the line, we have right there. If we look along the line, we have right there, which means our slope is changing from this x value here, or sorry, this y value to that y value, and then we're moving on. So what we're doing is we are rising, and we are running to our next point. We are rising, and we are running to our next point. We are rising, and we are running to the next point. We are rising, and we are running to the next point. And if you notice, the slope, as we said, in a straight line will always be the same. And that's what we said at the very beginning, that in terms of the concepts, a very important concept to know is to identify the slope, because the slope is the steepness. It will be exactly the same. So notice these steps. Our rise here is 2. Our run here is 3. So our rise is 2. Our run is 3 every single time. So in other words, the answer for this, the slope here is equal to 2 over 3. This is the slope for this exact line. 